The Nike Alpha Fly 3 is Nike's top of the range, most premium carbon plated super shoe, and it's designed for long distance racing. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80 kilometers in the Alpha Fly 3, and this is my full review. This was the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent 2, one of my most disappointing shoes of 2022. Nearly every runner I know of, me included, who ran in this shoe developed arch blisters because of how narrow the midfoot was and how aggressively it tapered inward right here in front of the arch. This made it unusable for any race or any important speed work. Last year we didn't get an Alpha Fly update, but this year we get a completely reworked Alpha Fly 3, which weighs 9 grams less than its predecessor, but costs $10 more. I'm glad to report that the narrow midfoot and the prominent arch sensation have not given me any issues in the Alpha Fly 3. The longest run I did was 35 kilometers, and I didn't get any blisters, but I did use anti-blister tape on both of my arches for extra protection. There is still a prominent arch sensation though, and to me it feels like one of those old school stability trainers that have that firmer arch wedge. Runners who have flat feet and sensitive arches might still have issues in the Alpha Fly 3. The Alpha Fly 3 doesn't feel really special in one particular department. For example, it doesn't have an extreme rocker or it doesn't have a really bouncy ride. It doesn't have a featherweight build like the Evo Pro 1. But what it does really well is that it's a great all-rounder. It's deeply cushioned, it's smooth, it's stable and it's punchy. Now the exact same thing could be said of the Vapor Fly 3. But the main difference is in the air pods in the forefoot, which make it firmer and more responsive. So when you pick up the pace, the air pods add that extra bit of thrust, which isn't there in the Vaporfly or in any other super shoe. I enjoy using it for a variety of runs, including intervals, long runs, thresholds, and steady runs. It's a little bit too firm for me for easy and recovery runs, but this shoe is not designed for slow running. During up tempo runs, it provides a high level of speed assistance. The new fast shot rubber outsole is a little bit softer, so landings are more padded, quieter, and traction is also a bit better because the outsole is flatter now. When it comes to outsole durability, I've been impressed. There's only some minor scuffing and some foam discoloration, but nothing that affects the ride. This Atom Note 3 upper is a big improvement over the previous version. And the heel lockdown for me now is superb because my foot sits down lower inside the shoe. It is still a booty construction though, so there are no double row eyelets and it's impossible to do a runner's knot. When it comes to sizing, I went to half size up from my regular size. And I'm glad I did because the fit is perfect for me when I'm wearing medium or thick socks. Runners who found version 2 too tight should definitely size up in version 3. It's got a really narrow, snug racing fit upper and it's not suitable for wide feet. The Nike Alpha Fly 3 is a top tier racer. It doesn't have the flair or the fun factor that other super shoes have, but it's a firm, lightweight super shoe with a snappy ride. It's also got great versatility because you can use it for marathons, half marathons, and even 5Ks or 10Ks because its ride is so firm. Version 3 is miles better than its predecessor. It's lighter, it's smoother, it's more comfortable, and it feels more snappy. Version 3 is actually my favorite version to date because it's got the widest midfoot and it suits heel strikers more than the other versions. I do however think that at $285, it's not worth its price, and it's also not worth all the hype. There isn't a big difference in performance between the Alpha Fly 3 and other $250 top tier super shoes. If you also got blisters in the Alpha Fly 2, let us know down in the comment section below if you had any issues with the Alpha Fly 3. Thanks for watching my review and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.